Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and this is the Dell G7 15 inch laptop that we recently picked up from Best Buy for around $1,000 when it was on sale. And let's just start off the review. So, first off, let's talk about the design of this laptop. And the first thing that you notice when you see this laptop is the black and blue colorway, and I think it looks really clean. Uh, you can also pick up the Arctic White colorway, which is basically just white and blue. Um, on Dell.com. However, this was the only color option at Best Buy, so that's what we had to get. And this laptop weighs in at about 6.31 pounds or 2.86 kilograms. The height is 0.98 inches or 24.95 millimeters. The width is 15.32 inches or 389 millimeters. And the depth is 10.82 inches or 274.7 millimeters. The Dell logo right here is blue, but at certain angles it's kind of teal colored and I think that looks really cool. And I like how much attention Dell paid to the details like this and I think this is a really nice touch. The hinge of the device is very well made and opening the laptop lid with just one hand is really easy. And the majority of the laptop is kind of heavy so it's gonna balance the laptop so you can just open it with one hand. And as for the keyboard, there's a full number pad on the right side so you can crunch some numbers easily you don't have to use the numbers on the top of the keyboard the keyboard also has blue backlighting and i'm not really sure if you can change the color but you can definitely turn it on or off the blue backlighting does offer a really nice touch to the keyboard however it does lower the battery life as it drains the battery and it's also an eyesore at nighttime because blue light is just not really good for your eyes at night Blue light essentially decreases the production of the hormone melatonin and this basically just hurts your sleep because you won't be able to sleep as quickly as possible. The keys on the keyboard are a bit mushy um, with 1.4 millimeters of key travel and they're pretty well designed though uh, with a nice blue color and the text is blue on all the keys as well. And I think that just really keeps up with the consistency of this laptop and I applaud Dell for doing that. Take a listen to the keys. The trackpad uses Windows Precision drivers and it feels pretty good. The clicking mechanism is well made and the blue outlining on the sides of the trackpad complement the design of the overall laptop. The entirety of the laptop is made of hard plastic and magnesium alloy and it's also, it also has a brushed metal finish on most of the laptop as well and the palm rest is also really nice and I think all this just makes this laptop really premium and unlike a lot of other red and black gaming laptops. The bottom of the laptop is easily accessible with only one screw and you can see that right here. You can just access all the components on the bottom of the laptop and you can Upgrade the Wi-Fi card, although the included one's already pretty good. Um, the SSD and the RAM. I really like how Dell did everything so easy. So you just use one screw, just take it out, and then you have access to everything on this laptop. On the back right here, you can see the laptop vents, and they get extremely loud, even louder than my full-blown PC over there. But I think that kind of makes sense because they fit such powerful specs into a really compact form factor of this size. And of course, with powerful specs, you're going to get really loud fan noise because you have to cool down all the powerful specs. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. As for ports, the Dell G7 has a wide variety of ports. Let's start off with the left side of the laptop. From left to right, you'll find the Noble Lock security slot, the Power DC in jack, the Gigabit Ethernet port, a USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 port, and an SD card slot. As for the right side of the laptop, from left to right, you're gonna find the 3.5 millimeter headphone and mic jack, two USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 ports, a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, and an HDMI 2.0 port. As for specs, this model right here has 
8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 2666 megahertz and it's upgradable up to 32 gigabytes and on Dell.com it's configurable up to 16 gigabytes and as for the CPU it has a hexa-core 8th gen Intel Core i7 8750H at a disappointing 2.2 gigahertz but goes up to 4.1 gigahertz with turbo boost with 9 megabytes of cache and it can be configured up to a hex core 8th gen Intel Core i9 at up to 4.8 gigahertz with Intel's Turbo Boost technology. As for the GPU, the Dell G7 features an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 video memory and it provides amazing graphical performance. The Max-Q GPUs are slightly worse in performance than the traditional 1060 GPUs but they're more geared towards efficiency in power and battery life. So that's going to make the Dell G7 have better battery life. It's also going to lower the fan noise a little bit, although the fan noise is already really loud. And it's also going to offer a smaller form factor. The 1060 Max-Q is also quite comparable to the regular 1060, so I can't really bash it that much. On top of that, this model has 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, which can be configured to multiple configurations of an SSD and a hard drive on Dell.com, and I believe you can also upgrade it yourself. As for the webcam, it is complete garbage, just don't bother using it. The Dell G7 has pretty bad battery life. I have to say I typically average about 4 hours of battery life with this laptop. And even with basic web browsing, it's not even that good. Although if you turn on battery saver mode and you turn off the keyboard backlighting, I think you'd be able to achieve a much longer battery life since you won't have the unnecessary stuff on. Yet again, this is a gaming laptop so it's not really focused on the most battery life or being the most portable setup. So. If you're gonna bring this to school or just around anywhere, I'd recommend having this plugged in almost all the time or just trying to plug it in often because it's going to offer the best experience. Um, sometimes when you leave it unplugged, it might cap the frame rate at like 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. So if you're using this, I'd recommend plugging it in at all times if, it, if that's possible. As for the screen on the Dell G7, it's a 15 inch 1080p Full HD IPS panel at 60 hertz. Although I hear other models are 100 hertz. Um, I guess there are two different manufacturers that make the screens for the laptops. And I heard you can also overclock these screens to 120 hertz. Although I don't really know how credible that is. And I think that might void the warranty. I think 60 hertz is perfect for web browsing and just basic usage because you're not gonna need more than that. Um, even for gaming, like light gaming, you can just cap at 60 frames and I think that's smooth enough. Although if you're seriously gaming on this laptop, then you should probably hook it up to an external monitor with a refresh rate higher than 60 hertz so that you can get an even smoother gaming experience. The color accuracy of this display isn't very accurate. I don't know the exact specs of the color accuracy, but I just know that it's not very good. I wouldn't really recommend it for video editing or photo editing or any color work. So um, if you're going to do any of that stuff, just use an external monitor with better color accuracy. As for usability and performance, I have to say this laptop is really great for Fortnite. Um, on Fortnite, I usually average about 70 to 80 frames per second on all epic settings. It sometimes dips down to the high 60s and sometimes goes up to the low 90s. I kind of sound like a weatherman saying that. But anyways, this is a pretty nice experience for Fortnite. On lighter games like CSGO and League of Legends, it does pretty good at over 300 frames per second, so I don't really have to say anything more about that. Performance is really great for web browsing, for video editing, as well as any other tasks you're going to throw at this laptop. Um, the 8th gen CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, the GTX 1060 Max-Q are going to all work together to provide a really nice experience with this Dell G7 laptop. I've used this on a day-to-day -day basis and I have to say it's a really solid laptop. I really love the build quality, the colorway, and I like how it's not a cheap black and red gaming laptop. Um, it's really well made, the specs are really nice, the trackpad is pretty good, the keyboard is pretty good as well, and um, the only complaint I have is that the fan noise is pretty loud and the battery life is not that good. 
So overall for around $1,000 and possibly even lower if you can find it on sale, I have to say this laptop is a really good purchase and it is probably the best laptop for around $1,000. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. And I spent over two hours just researching um, the Dell G7 specs and everything about it. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys would support this channel and everything I do. Also, tell me what you guys think about this laptop in the comments down below. And if you'd be willing to purchase one or not.